best tech. It's simply the best. It's the best. Just don't even try and figure it out. It's, it's the best. All right, whatever. And I do like this guy called Kambu. And he has a real name, and uh, I couldn't pronounce it even when I met him in Atlanta at the Blade Show. Um, and hopefully I'll see him next year at the Blade Show, too, because that'd be way cool. Um, he is an interesting fellow, young fellow, from Poland. And uh, he is almost like single-handedly the, like, big swinging dude for for best tech is he not is he not i mean name all the models he's done i mean just go to like either blade hq or white mount or something just type in kombu or go to his instagram page and look at all the stuff it's just it'll take you down memory lane baby he did the fairchild recently and he just keeps rocking it this one's called the bavaya okay now I mean, I said, I don't know. Is it Bawaya? Hawaii? I'm fine, thank you. Um, I'm going to Bawaya for vacation. <laughs> I don't know. But, okay. So, I, I messaged him on Instagram. And I go, what the hell? Um, because it's... Yeah. Bawaya. Oh, of course, cut it off here. Okay. Bawaya. Okay. And so I was calling it Bawaya because that is way and, you know, whatever, trying to do the phonics thing. Here's the model number, but he said Bawaya or Bavaya, almost like a V in there, like Bavaya. But he says, okay, that's the name uh, in the Philippines for a freshwater crocodile. Or I looked it up on Google or something, yeah. but he said it as well, okay? So... Do you get the crocodile thing here? You get the reptilian thing here? I get it. I get this. I get this. I get this. This is uh, insane. Okay. And you know what? There's a lot of stuff going on with this knife, isn't there? And this, of course, has got the green accents. You can get this total silver like this. Okay. Oh, one from here. First of all, they're not free. Okay, now see, if you lived in a socialist country, they just give them away along with 90% of your income going in for taxes. But you get one of these for free, so it's it's worth it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, 339 but, but, $33.90 discount, LTK discount code. Yeah, I missed the first round and they sold out quick. I saw it, he's... I saw it at the Atlanta Blade Show, but I couldn't get my hands on one. You know, I couldn't get one, get one. So, regardless. But it's a standard size knife, right? It's 8.2 inches, so the same size as a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. M390, okay, etc. right? And then, do they even say combo design? Oh, shit, no. Wow, thank you. Um, and you could get it in the green and the one where I got with the green accents and then all, all blacked out or all grayed out. Okay. So you can get that. Regardless. Yeah. It's about 300 bucks. So <sighs> breathe deep the gathering gloom, but you know what? Knives are going up. Well, everything's going up. You can go to the grocery store anywhere. So centered not really hold on i probably hold on have i done this enough i probably have yeah crap probably got it a little loose or not tight enough or something i mean i love the design but yeah that's uh, it's close isn't it it's close to being centered but it's just a, a little bit to that side maybe Okay, so we'll figure it out later. But yeah, I haven't really been sitting around messing with this a bunch. And I haven't dumped any lube. I haven't taken it apart because I wanted to do it on the camera. So here we are. We will get into it. And what do we got? It says M390 on the flipper tab. Flipper tab is jimped. 
it's pretty easy to disengage, okay? And it's over the detent ball, dropping, getting better as we go, isn't it? The uh, design flow is great on this one. I like it. Um, blade to handle length really all she can be. Got a place for a lanyard and kind of a striking area maybe if need be on that backspacer. Pocket clip is nice. It's milled. It's titanium. So we got a big titanium crazy mess of frame lock here. And do we have enough screws? How come there's not a screw there, 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 and there? <laughs> Jeez. Well, we are buttoned up, aren't we? I'm, I don't know. Could we have missed one? Or is there probably in his mind with the crocodilian thing, maybe that's, that's what that's all about. Uh, kind of, you know, if you look at this like a crocodile coming up out of the water, right? This whole his nose and his eye and all that okay I, I can get that i can get that yeah it's a crazy cool looking knife uh it should have been 10 inches long but some people just don't have the guts to make a big knife but yeah i mean I, I, yes for all practical purposes this this is the size it has to be because you you got to find a happy median there's probably some people think this is too big others too small so you probably just got it right it comes in a box like this really in fact this box exactly and uh zipper pouch is nice quality here uh you get some little sticker things of the bavaya and a nice um microfiber cloth a little bit of paperwork and i don't think the paperwork really to tell you the truth says much of anything other than instruction on you know warranty but i mean it doesn't tell you anything specifically about the knife and of course then you got microfiber cloth which is nice and maybe something that we take for granted too much this is kind of cool i like that i like you know, all the stuff they put in there yeah, I think the sticker showing the actual knife is, is kind of cool. So it's a structural, it's a tough box, it's good. So good packaging. And you know, when you're paying that kind of money, I think you need it. I think you need it. Um, now that we're jacking around talking about everything but what we should be, how heavy is it? It's 148 grams. Okay, and let's get into the ounce, 5.25, okay, it's there. Can you finger flick it? Yeah, you can finger flick it, just stick your middle finger in his eye. Mm. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, by the way, come here. Yeah, you gotta touch the paper first. Come on, get in my way here. Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's it's good. It's factory sharp, you know, but it's not scary, crazy sharp. And I guess it's, you know, it's not very often I run into scary, crazy sharp. So this is about par for the course, you know. It's like most knives are when they come out of the box from production. It's nice. I, this is this is big old jimping, and I think somebody was telling me they thought this might be a little too much. And I, I said, I think it's really a combination for uh, traction, but also uh, design cue on the crocodilian situation. So otherwise the jimps maybe should be smaller um and maybe more effective because these are just tops so they're so big that you kind of just feel the tops here um i don't know i mean I, yeah i'm getting some traction off of this but maybe could have been reformulated to be more effective if it was really just for for purchase or traction as opposed to looks as well and design you know additions but so yes and this this shape 
blade as well, but piercing, slicing, okay. Uh, when you do this, you know, then you're changing dynamics as far as, you know, it's not like a full flat grind, you know, for slicing and this and that. You, you're going to, you know, present some additional complications. But then again, this is a $300 plus dollar knife. This ain't, you know, what you're going to throw in your pocket and bang around and, you know, use to go to your construction site job or whatever, probably. So this is going to get a lot of looks in the in the display case, proud carry, and it'll cut. It's just it's not going to be as efficient with a variety of materials as something with a different, you know, situation on the blade there. But, okay. I mean, I still like it. I, I like what he did to all these design cues here. I mean, I thought if you're going to make one... I mean, keep it going, you know, and he did. He brought it all the way through this thing. Really, he's a great designer, to tell you the truth. Yeah, easy to kick open. It's It keeps getting better as I, as I mess with this. Now, by the time I get done taking it apart and putting it back together, shit will be awesome. Um, this is good ergos here and if you have much bigger hands than me it's gonna be squeezing you for space but for me it's perfect and it really does kind of tuck all your fingers into a tight zone but it really does uh give you some good grip and i'm not really minding this pocket clip much either and 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 okay there's my balance point Interesting, got a little cutaway here, like landing strip for, you know, when you're doing this. And it's really more of a light switch than a push button. See? Nah. Light switch for that. So, uh, the detent is where it needs to be. Pull, 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 pull. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too light. You're not going to shake it out. Yeah, you're not going to shake it out. It's it's snappy. It's snappy. Now, let's see if we can make it worse. <sighs> yes. My dream. Okay, so that's interesting how they did that. Kind of a small little pivot screw. Not really so much, you know. But then this milling around machining around here, that's... That's kind of interesting how they did that. Now, we're going to have to go down the long and painfully winding road here because we've got 20,000 more screws to undo. God. And hopefully they'll be easy and relatively painless. And let's hope also that they're the same size. Okay, one more. Wow. That was... I don't know, but that was almost starting to come out on its own. Okay. Are these all three the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Okay, okay. So it doesn't matter. Those are all three. Okay. So now we got the log bar side. Let's lift it off, and we can see that it's weight relieved under here. And we got a hardened steel insert. We got a ceramic detent ball. We've got an over travel stop here. We have a steel washer that comes right out. Of course, it had that funny little because the lube was on it and leaving a leaving an imprint. And we've got a flattened piece here. So um, and a of course here's your ceramic bearings, both sides and. Then we've got a squared off piece on this pivot here, which of course corresponds over here, locks it in place so it won't spin when you disassemble, which is good. And of course you got your little blade stop there and your pivot, which is just, yeah, it's all ready to go. And of course a hardened, uh, well, not, I don't know about hardened steel, but it's a steel washer on the other side as well. Just like that. And I'm sure 
all this, yeah, these are magnetic, but this is not pocket clip. No, that's not magnetic. No, not at all. Okay. Nothing magnetic there except the hardened steel insert. Of course, the whole blade, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we're good. And we got the log bar. We got blade. Presentation side, weight relieved as well. Give you an opportunity right here just to get on that. Four millimeter blade stock in at 0.15. Woo! When you get it back together, I'll, if I remember, I'll measure the whole out outside thickness of the handle but yeah i mean that's that's some heavy blade stock isn't it that's pretty sturdy stuff now let's put this and this and let's get this turned around to where it needs to be and we're going to re-put it back together with uh, from the front. And we're going to need our blade stop. We need bearings. We need everything. What we got here? Got a hair on my KPL. Okay. Now, let's throw this down. And we're looking good. Maybe even it's staring at me. Whatever. Okay, that's that might be a little much. Okay, come on, get in here. You too. Okay. And uh, well, we'll throw this on top. And you know what? We got to make sure that's facing the right way, and it is. Okay, if you're gonna be like that, then sit in here. Um. Okay. What are we doing? Are we going to make it? Okay. So we got it in the right position. Let's put the pivot screw down. And we're good there. Now, uh, I guess we put the pocket clip in if we wanted. It's not really sitting on top of any of these other screws. So we could go ahead and... Put that there, and obviously right hand tip up only. And then we got these three screws that need to go into the body. Right here. But, I mean, it may be a lot of screws, but really they weren't that difficult to, to take out. And let me see if I'm going to make a big mess somehow. Okay, come on. There you go. Straighten you out. Back up until I can get a straight shot at it. And uh, you too. Come here. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay. Finally got you lined up. Now the escapee needs to go in. And... Uh, okay. And we are definitely... Now, okay, so now I do have it uh, centered, and I did get this screw, yeah, pushed down all the way, so there's no play or anything, okay? So it just needed a little bit of adjusting, and now, see, different. Different knife, yeah. A lot, a lot more drop shutty friendly, but not too guillotine-ish. That's that's pretty good. That's that's pretty well behaved. Oh yeah, nice. But why? Uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, Combo Designs keeps going and going and going. You know, him and Todd Knife and Tool, the way they've affected Best Tech desirability, as far as I'm concerned, you know. I mean, you've got the Ornetta as well that he did, and he's done so many. And Todd Knife and Tool have done a couple that I really like. It's really raised uh, my appreciation of best tech they just need to continue with those guys 
and see what comes next, really. Take care, my friends. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.